Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Last episode, we did the size does matter advancement, which is to build a max size 24 by 24 by 24 nuclear fission reactor. Uh, we also did the gone fission, which is to build a nuclear craft fission reactor that produces at least 25,000 RF per tick. Now, the whole reason that we did that is because uh, I am working on the cookie singularity advancement, uh, which requires eight stacks of uh, cookie singularities. Each cookie singularity is uh, as 10,000 cookies. Um, and I was running into a power problem uh, trying to produce them all uh, as, as quickly as possible. I So that is why I uh, built the uh, giant 24 by 24 by 24 uh, fission reactor. I've got a new problem now. I am burning through fuel way faster than my resource hogs uh, can keep up with them. Uh, I made some resource hogs out of some uh, materials that we got from the Twilight Forest, uh, and those are the thorium and the uranium, which are ones we're using for the fuel uh, for our uh, fusion reactor. Uh, but like I said, I am burning through them way, way quicker than they can keep up with them, and it's eating into my AFK time. So uh, I need to go and find a, another source of these resources that are going to be a little bit quicker than trying to grow them on my own. Now, I had a comment from Seth, one of my Patreons, uh, about when I was building uh, the uh, giant 24 by 24 uh, reactor. Uh, he suggested using a digital miner in the Twilight Forest uh, in order to uh, help mine up the resources for that. I think it might be uh, worthwhile uh, doing that uh, today uh, to help me go and get uh, fuels instead. This is a good use of this machine. Uh, basically, a digital miner is a, a block that you can place uh, in a dimension, power it up, uh, and it will mine only the items that you are looking for. You don't have to go digging for them. It will go and find them for you uh, in a very, very large area. It is a really, really cool item. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and build one of those digital miners. Before we start, we are going to need some powders. We're going to need some powdered obsidian uh, and some powdered diamond so we're going to come over to our manufactory this is a easy way of doing it you see i've got some here just for my uh, future storage so we'll throw the diamond in first there we go we've got some crushed diamond we're going to throw the obsidian in and there we go we've got some pulverized obsidian so we're going to take these items and we're going to use them as fuels uh, throughout while we use this metallurgic infuser. Uh, first off, though, what we're going to need to do is make ourselves an enriched alloy. That is going to be one redstone as the infuser and one iron ingot in the metallurgic infuser. So redstone goes in the top left here and you can see it has now uh, been sucked in. There's 10 redstone in here and we're going to throw one iron ing ingot in there and this is going to produce ourselves an enriched alloy. Now this is a item that we've used before and we're actually going to use quite a few of them today. So we're going to take that enriched alloy and uh, actually we're going to go and take the crushed diamonds. We're going to put that into the metallurgic infuser. So now there's got 10 diamonds. Take the enriched alloy. We're going to throw that in there and this is going to give us a reinforced alloy. Now this is one more step along the way. Uh, our next step is uh, we're going to have to take some crushed diamond again. We're going to throw that back into our sort of enricher area and we're going to take one of those pulverized obsidians this is going to turn it into reinforced obsidian. So uh, reinforced obsidian dust. Uh, this is important because we're going to take this reinforced obsidian dust back into the metallurgic infuser. Again, we've got 10 obsidian in there. We're going to throw that reinforced alloy up there. And there we go. There is an atomic alloy. This is the main item that we're going to be building right now. And again, we're going to need quite a few of these for uh, this build. So I'm going to throw this in here. This is going to be our finished product up here. I'm just going to store it there for now. Next up, we got to build ourselves a basic control circuit. So that is going to be one piece of redstone, one osmium ingot back over to our metallurgic infuser. Again, redstone into the infused uh, part and then the osmium ingot into our sort of item part is going to go and it's going to manufacture ourselves a basic control circuit. We're going to come back over here, place it into the finished spot for now. Now, one other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build ourselves a bunch of teleportation cores. We're going to need two of these total. They are going to be two of those atomic alloys that we've built, four lapis lazuli, one diamond, two gold ingots. That gets us our teleportation core. So we'll go throw this into our crafting table. And you see, we're getting very, very close to finishing this off. Uh, next up, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make ourselves a steel casing. Uh, this is four steel ingots, four pieces of glass, and one osmium ingot. Come back over here, place that down. 
Uh, next up is going to be a logistical sorter. This is one of those basic control circuits, one piston and seven iron ingots. We're actually going to need two of these. I've got one all ready to go down to the last item for this uh, digital miner. Uh, to do that, we are first going to need ourselves a... Next up, we're going to have to make ourselves a robot. Uh, to do that, we are first going to need a refined obsidian ingot. So we've already made the refined obsidian dust. We've now got to take this over to an os osmium compressor where we uh, have osmium in the um, ingot slot. We're going to take the refined obsidian dust, put it in there. It's going to crank out a refined obsidian ingot uh, as soon as this is done. There we go. So that is done. We're going to come take this over here place it into the crafting table. As well, the robot is going to require a energy tablet that is going to be three gold ingots, two of those enriched alloys, four redstone, that gets us an energy tablet. We're actually going to need two of those. And then last but not least is we're going to need a personal chest. Now, a personal chest is sort of something that makes sense in a multiplayer world, uh, but it is uh, one of those basic control circuits, five ingots of steel, one piece of glass, and two chests. Now, we're going to take this out. This is a cool item if you've got a multiplayer world. You can, this is a sort of like a lockable chest uh, to your person. Uh, you can open it up. Uh, you see, it is a double chest, which is really, really nice. And then you've got the option of, you know, setting the uh, security status on it. It. We're not worried about that for this. We just need it as a item in our build. So we're going to come over here. We're going to place the personal chest, two refined obsidian ingots, two energy tablets, an atomic alloy, one piece of steel. That gets us a robot. Now we're going to take the robot. We're going to come over here to our final stage here. So one robot, one steel casing, one basic control circuit, two atomic alloys, two logistical sorters, and two teleportation cores. That gets us our digital miner. Now, this is what we're going to be using in the Twilight Force to digitally mine the uh, uranium and the thorium that we are looking for without us actually having to go out and get it ourselves. It is going to require a little bit of power, so I've gone and I've borrowed one of the batteries from our 24 by 24 by 24 fission reactor uh, just so we've got something over there. Uh, you can set up like a flux, flux network and, you know, go back and forth, but that's going to be a whole uh, episode in and of itself. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. This battery should be more than enough uh, to get us what we need to do. Okay, guys, so here we are in the Twilight Forest. Now, I'm lucky. My seed, uh, we have got an island right here. But basically, you would go, you would find yourself an island, uh, ideally something that's got a lot of resources on it. So we've picked through the outside of this before. You can see a couple of the platforms where I grabbed some of the resources we were looking for. But this one has the thorium that we're looking for. This one has, I think it was down here, there is some uranium as well. Uh, a bunch of other resources as well. You're looking for something that's got the block that you're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, up to the top. Let's go and break this block here. And this is the middle of the island. I know that. This is actually a hillock. I think it's like a troll hillock. Uh, keep an eye out next episode. I think we're going to be doing something fun with this one. But here we go. A digital miner. We're going to go place that down. You can see it is, I want to call it a multi-block, uh, even though it is only one in our inventory. We can open it up. We don't have any power. That's what we brought the battery for. So we're going to place that there. I've got an energy extraction cable. We're going to go and hook that up. And now this here will be powered. You see the power bar is on the side. Just to give you an idea of how big this is, let's go turn the visual on. This is going to be the mining area that, uh, this is the default mining area for uh, this digital miner. Now we can actually make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I've tested this out before. So if we go into our config over here, our radii is right now at 10. Let's make that 25. Um, 25 should be all around this island here. So every block on this island is within uh, this ratio here. And I think I've got it pretty good. And yeah, so every single block on here is a mineable block. It's within this uh, cube. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Uh, next up, we got to program this, uh, telling it what it is that we're looking for. So how we do that is we're going to set up ourselves a new filter. This gives you a couple of options of how to set it up. Uh, I haven't played around with uh, much of them, but the two that are probably the most useful or the easiest to use is going to be the material, which will basically give you, like if you put a, a piece of ore in there, it will search for ores. 
or the item stack, which is going to be very, very specific. That's the one we're going to use today. So I've got a uranium ore. I'm going to put it up here. Uh, item stack details uranium ore. Uh, fuzzy mode. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to do. If it's going to just maybe mine around it and then require replace. I don't want it to replace it with any blocks. Uh, I'm perfectly fine leaving an open empty space in here. So we're going to leave that as no. We're going to hit save. New filter, item stack, we're going to go put in the thorium ore, and we're going to hit save there. So here, if we had a bunch of different filters, we can go and swap them back and forth. Which one is it going to look for first? Which one is it going to look for second? Uh, it doesn't really matter to us at this case. We're just going to leave it as is. We're going to come back out, and if we go and hit start, you can see two mine. There's 195 blocks that it has found that meets our criteria for the uh, for the filter. Something's pushing me around. This sheet, you you are going to have a reckoning here in a minute. So <laughs> he goes, he walks right in front of me. Um, so this is going to continue to mine. We can upgrade it with some upgrades. I've got some mechanism uh, energy upgrades. I got some mechanism speed upgrades. Uh, we've built these ones before, so I'm not going to get too far into it. But I'm going to go load them up, and then I will be right back. Okay, so speed load, speed upgrades are loaded. If we go in here, this should start mining quite a bit quicker. And yeah, you can see we've already got 10, 8, 9, 10. So this is speeding up quite a bit, which is absolutely what we want. Uh, we do have a couple of buttons over here. Uh, we've got a reset button is if we wanted to get back into the config, like we could stop this, break this machine, bring it to another item, start it up again, no problem. We don't have to make any changes to it. It will keep the inventory in there. Uh, if we wanted to get back into that config though, we'd hit stop, hit the reset. So we hit stop hit the reset, we can now get back into the config and do what we need to do on it. Uh, we're gonna keep that one running in the background. Uh, we've got auto eject, which I think will kick out items uh, when they are finished with. I'm not 100% sure how to use that. Uh, silk touch, if we were going mining after say coal and we wanted to keep it as the block rather than you know get the coal um, nuggets, uh, then we would want to turn on the silk touch. And then auto pull, again, I'm not 100% sure how that works. Uh, I don't know what you would be pulling into this. Ideally, maybe you, if you're going to swap out blocks, like, you know, you pull out the uranium or replace it with, you know, a cobblestone or something like that. That might uh, work as well. But uh, for now, we're going to leave this. This is it for the digital miner. We can go, we can bring this anywhere in our um, Twilight Forest and gather up the resources we need. A very, very simple way of finding just what you're looking for and getting it really, really quick. But uh, there was no advancement for this. So we're in the Twilight Forest. You know what? There are a couple of ones right here. Uh, we've got one. Silence of the Forest. Hunt some of the local wildlife. I've got my cleaver. Where is that? Should you, you, my friend. There you go. Advancement. Silence of the Forest. There you go. We're going to go open that back up. There we go. Hunt some of the local wildlife. We've hunted some wildlife. There is our advancement. Uh, so this is not a, a total non-advancement uh, episode. So come back again next episode. Since I'm already here, I've got something else fun to do. Uh, and, and along the, these uh, Twilight Forest advancements, we're going to go and take a crack at some of these. So let me know in the comments below if you guys did these advancements any different than I did. Uh, I would love to hear all the different ways out there there are uh, to do uh, any of the stuff in Sky Factory 4. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. Uh, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. Uh, there are a lot of great perks out there for all of my Patreons, but uh, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.